Hi, my name is James Cole. I'm a medical laboratory scientist. The diagram represents what I learned about molecular diagnostics during the past 40 years. First, life is nutrient dependent. Also, there is no defined boundary between epigenetics and genetics. That fact is the basis for the Precision Medicine Initiative. Nutrient dependent metabolic networks must be linked to genetic networks and the energy dependent physiology of reproduction in all genera. You probably already know that the innate immune system links RNA mediated nutrient energy dependent physics and chemistry. That's how nutritional epigenetics is linked to the conserved molecular mechanisms of RNA mediated cell type differentiation. And simply put, the immune system links energy from physics and chemistry to biologically based cause and effect. In the early years of my career, I used information provided by flame photometers and spectrophotometers to link physics from chemistry to biology. Now, quantum physics links epigenetics to the biophysically constrained chemistry of cell type differentiation, which is the basis for molecular diagnostics. If cell type differentiation was not biophysically constrained by the immune system, no one could test for what goes wrong. Unfortunately, the complexity of analysis at different levels of examination has linked the sun's anti-entropic virucidal energy to hydrogen atom transfer in DNA base pairs in solution. The speed of light on contact with water has been linked to the biophysically constrained chemistry of RNA mediated protein folding. Molecular biologists are not surprised to find that energy dependent amino acid substitutions are the link from the epigenetic landscape to the immune system and to the physical landscape of supercoiled DNA. In this diagram, RNA mediated amino acid substitutions link supercoiled DNA to protection from virus driven entropy in all organized genomes. What I've done is to integrate claims from Darwin, Einstein, Schrodinger, and Dobsansky. Simply put, Darwin's nutrient dependent conditions of life come before natural selection. That's how Einstein's math and physics link Schrodinger's claims in what is life to Dobsansky's claims about amino acid substitutions and biodiversity in all living genera. I included citations to support the representations in the diagram. And taken together, the citations show that nutrient dependent microRNA flanking sequences link the life history transitions of all marine invertebrates to all vertebrates via the RNA mediated physiology of energy dependent pheromone controlled reproduction. Schrodinger's claims about the anti-entropic energy of the sun predicted everything including in this everything included in this diagram. But like many others, Schrodinger knew little or nothing about virus driven energy theft. Neo-Darwinian theorists, for example, have only recently started to consider virus driven energy theft. And the likelihood that theft of energy links viruses from mutations to all pathology requires all theorists to revise their theories. For comparison, anyone who assumes the energy dependent physiology of reproduction is not the link to biophysically constrained RNA mediated epigenetic inheritance probably never worked as a medical laboratory scientist. They may not know how to troubleshoot the theories that led to their assumptions. This diagram may help theorists teller, tether their claims to facts about energy dependent RNA mediated 
cell type differentiation. The diagram is based on scientific experiments, which are tests that attempt to produce accurate results. Medical laboratory scientists are trained to eliminate sources of error before testing. I learned that theories are sources of error. Theories do not link top-down causation from chemotaxis to phototaxis by what is known about the innate immune system, metabolic networks, and genetic networks. Theories about mutations and evolution are dead ends. That's why the dead ends are represented in red color in the diagram. Everything in red is linked from stress-induced virus-driven energy theft to pathology. It would be appropriate to think of everything in red in the context of blood loss in humans. Without the energy-dependent RNA-mediated DNA repair that links blood to the protection of our organized genomes from virus-driven entropy, molecular diagnostics would exist only in theory. Thank you.